That's 170. Get 170, yep. I feel like I swung smoother on that. Look at that. <laughs> Today we present to you the ultimate low spin driver comparison of 2022. Thomas will hit shots with eight different models released this year, and we'll see what the TrackMan data tells us. Golfers, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment and tell us which driver you think is the best of 2022. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. And today, Thomas, this is one of our favorite videos to film uh, every year, the ultimate low spin driver comparison. We've got eight models here and you're gonna hit a lot of bombs today, but I think the more important thing is, you know, helping golfers understand which yeah, of these drivers maybe might spin the lowest, maybe the most consistent, go the furthest, et cetera. So um, eight really good models that performed well in fittings this year. Yeah, lots of competition here. We've got some drivers that released just a little bit before 2022. For example, Ping, yeah. they're going to come coming out with something kind of new. Actually, a lot of these manufacturers right. are going to come yeah. out with something new in 2023. But this is 2022. This is what's available, being available in the fitting bay to get fit over at Second Swing. Right. And I'm excited because we haven't really done an ultimate driver test in a long time. Right. So especially eight drivers. So this, I've, I've done the irons, but yeah. eight driver swings, this, this can be a lot. So this would be a good video to compare what's available. Right, right. And I remember if the viewers uh, can think back to early 2022, we did, you know, the Callaways, the TaylorMades, the Cobras together. And the Cobra LTD XLS was a really good performer early on. A lot of good feedback there. The Tour Edge Exotics, uh, you know, C721 and 22 have been really good in testing for you. Yep. Um, so there's a lot to look forward to with this one. And of course, initial testing as well. And the TSR3 has been awesome too. So uh, let's talk about the format of the tests, uh, the shaft, et cetera, that we'll be using here today. Um, how are we going to go about this, Thomas? Yeah, so we have a second swing out all fit system. We're going to be using the golf shaft that I, that I use, Graphite Design XC6. Um, golf, golf shaft, this can be all the, all the club heads. Okay. So we'll keep that very, very un unbiased as we can. Um, yep. The only challenge we're gonna have a little bit is the lofts and the drivers. Sure. So the goal is to test at nine degrees. Yep. Most of them are at nine, a couple only offer at nine five. Yep. So for example, Torage is a nine five head. Yep. And Strixon. Um, Strixon's a nine five head. But other, we'll, we'll find a way to kind of tweak it a little bit so we can get them as close as we possibly can. Um, but yeah, nine degrees aloft on the driver with this exact same golf shaft. Anything that's low spinning, we're gonna have the weight forward. Yeah. So for example, Mizuno um, with the you know yeah. STG two, yeah. 220, we're gonna have these weights push forward. Anything that's gonna be bias is gonna have weight in the neutral setting as well. Yeah. So for example, Ping is gonna be in the, in the back, Titus is gonna be yep. in the back, Style is gonna be in the back. TaylorMade Style so, Plus has their weight and the weight in the center there. Yep. Um, so two just to, I guess, wrap up the intro here, if you will, and kind of transition to the testing, we've got the Titleist TSR3, the TaylorMade Stealth Plus, Tour Edge Exotics C722, the Rogue ST Max LS from Callaway, the Shrixon ZX7, the Cobra King LTD X LS, the Ping G425 LST, and lastly, as Thomas just mentioned, the Mizuno STG 220 with those weights forward. So, uh, should be a fun test. Going to see a lot of bombs. I'm see. I'm guessing 320 plus quite often. We're going to see here. So, uh, let's get after it here. Yeah, let's collect some data and get some stuff to talk about. Get in there. Nice ball. That was smoked. One five. That was hit well. That might be a little better. No, a little more spin. Okay. That's 170. Get 170, yep. I feel like I swung smoother on that. Look at that. <laughs> the LTDX LS still testing well for Thomas. Well, Thomas, a lot of golf shots, um, a lot of bombs. A lot I of think, good shots. Did you, I don't yeah. think you hit one. Yeah, you did not hit one less than 300 yards out of all 40 of the shots that we have in the data here. So that's pretty impressive in its own right. But let's take a step further here. Let's discuss, you know, across the board, I'll let you kind of just break down the data, what jumps out at you, um, you know, what 
what really catches the eye, what, what golfers should know when they're watching this. Right, and I think this is what the viewers want to see, right? These, yeah. are, the, these are the numbers they want yeah. to see, if there's any slight advantages with any sooner manufacturer. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, well, let's find out. So the nice thing with TrackMan here is we can kind of split apart and take and sort the, the, the yeah. data points. So club speed, you know, we, we can obviously talk about that a little bit, but the goal is to swing about as same speed as, as every single one of them. Well, as you can see here, pretty much, 112 point yeah. something, mm -hmm. yeah, 112 point something there, which is which is awesome. Um, ball speed. So this is this is what I more ball speed and smash factor is what I care a little bit more mm -hmm. about than that, than that club speed. So who had the highest ball speed today on average? Um, it was TSR three. Just barely. Just I mean, barely. You got yep. the Stealth Plus and G425 LST right behind. Same yep. with Callaway too, and the Cobra actually. Yep. I mean, look how close those actually are. That you think about it, you have one, two, three, six drivers within one mile an hour on the average ball speed. There. Right, yeah, you got, and it's interesting, you look at the, the six drivers that you're seeing that are in within that mile an hour, you know, it's kind of the ones you, there's probably more R&D and drivers go into, right? Sure, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe with the exception of Tour Edge C722, maybe not, maybe quite as much, but these are the, these top five up here are the five that you would maybe expect. If you look at these other, other three here that were kind of, you know, rated right, right a little bit lower, on that ball speed. You know, Mizuno, this still kind of break in with regards to the driver market. They were a little bit lower. Strixon, 166.6. Uh, and Tour Edge was 167.4. But you know, we're talking every single driver was within two miles an hour of each other. Right. It's just, I find it interesting that these are the, the, these are the five, top five drivers out there that you yeah. kind of market with regards to being a top driver and mm -hmm. they kind of perform right. pretty well It does kind of there. reflect the most popular driver brands that you probably fit in fittings, right? Uh, right. It's kind of, and it's not probably a perfect correlation, but it's gotta be pretty close. It's, it's pretty close there, yeah. So, yeah, smash factor between 147 and 1450. Uh, yeah. One thing I found really interesting when I was hitting the ping, the ping was the last driver I hit too, it was 150 every single time. Yeah. So all, all five shots were 150, so that's, that's important there to, to bring up. Um, but otherwise, tight this 150 mm -hmm. as well on average. Um, you got Callaway and Taylor made 149. Yep. 149 also for for Cobra. Yep. Um, launch angle, I think they're all within a degree. 113.6 to 14.9, I'm yeah. seeing here. A little higher there with this Rexon. Yeah, the Rexon yeah. just flew and launched way higher, it seemed like. It did, it had a little more spin on it as yeah. well. And, you know, we talked about trying to match this up a little bit. This Rexon ZX7 is a nine and a half degree head. Yeah. I put this thing lower as well to try and ma match it up there too, but it's interesting mm -hmm. that that one spun a little yeah. bit more with regards to those numbers. Um, you can see spin rate. We got a couple of pretty low spinners. So, and the thing that jumps out at me is the Cobra is the lowest spin and pretty comfortably the lowest spin. Yep. But look how consistent too. I think it was the most consistent spin out of the entire, um, all, all the drivers. Yeah, plus or minus is, 100 and the lowest, lowest spin. Yeah, That's and so now granted for someone like you that they can, someone like you can get away with spin at 16 and 1700. If it's um, consistent, right. And if right. you're hitting in the right spot on the face, yes. But yes. if you're catching it on the toe, mm -hmm. that thing's going to dive out of the sky. Yeah, yeah. it's going to dive out of the sky and, and the player that doesn't swing as fast as you might have a problem with that spin being so low. Yep. Um, not, this is to say, to the LTD X model probably, you know, is, is the option for that player that swings maybe 5 to 10 miles an hour slower than you do. Right. And I'm not going to say that 1639 is a good spin rate. Yeah. It's really not a good spin rate if you're trying to hit more fairways. Right. Um, so sometimes dispersion might be a little bit of an issue when you're yeah. spinning at that low. Just know that when I'm hitting up on it 7 degrees with about 112, yeah. 113 mile an hour club speed, my spin, it uh, hovers under. Right. It's also just the way you swing. You're going to yeah. have lower spin than maybe what is considered optimal for the average player of your right. swing speed. But Yes. Exactly, but once I start putting, you know, you think put more loft in my hands, so once I do that, then I hit the ball really right. high. I'm already hitting it over 150 <laughs> right, meters. Right. So that's just, yeah, it's, that's just interesting yeah. that that's the lowest spin. Mm -hmm. You know, Which, it's interesting to see how the, the Tour Edge is second lowest. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's, and if you, you think Tour Edge, you don't think of the low spin, uh, I guess, uh, you know, penetrating flight type driver. You think of forgiveness and, you know, user friendly type clubs. But the C722, and even in past, the C721 that yeah. you tested had, was the same way. Well, the Low C spin rates and consistent, too. The C722 does have that quite a lot of weight you can shift yeah. around. Mm -hmm. So when you shift it around, you put that weight up front, it's going right. to help. It's going to reduce mm -hmm. that spin overall. Yeah. All right, so well, this is what everyone came to see, right? Who hit the Distance furthest numbers. 
yep. and you know carry in total. Let's talk about carry distance first. Well, we have LTDX LS two ninety five point four. Mm -hmm. You know, okay, we got to we got to talk about how close they are all together, right? Two ninety three point four to two ninety five point four. We got six drivers. Six drivers and within two yards of carry distance. Yeah, uh, that's pretty pretty consistent, and it does speak to how close together you know in terms of competition everything is. Um, and I think the also we should we have to note. There was two drives out of the 40 that carried 300 yards. One was with the Cobra, one was with the Ping. Yeah. Uh, and you can let's, bring those up let's here. Let's bring that one up here. So let's switch this over here to carry distance. Yep, you can see the two. And then um, there was one that was right just shy of the two there with the Cobra. Yeah, so that was this shot right here. Mm -hmm. Cobra 300.8 carry distance there. Pretty, pretty darn good. Uh, and then the other one, I believe that was with Ping. Yep. Yep. Um, 302.1. Yep. So that was, that was always interesting there to kind of mm -hmm. note. You can see carry distance, maybe just a little bit further. You can see how that dispersion there, a little bit yep. further up the screen there with that light teal blue, yep. I, I guess. Yeah, there's a lot of yep. different colors. Up a there. lot of good, a lot of yeah. numbers there to see there, but that was, well, that was very interesting there too. Yeah, and then looking at total distance, there it kind of it kind of correlates there with the carry, um, but you had you had Cobra, and then you had Stealth actually with a little bit lower spin, and the ball rolling out a little bit. C722 and Rogue S2 Max LS, really those four. And then you actually, you could throw in TSR3s TSR four, right yeah. there, G425 LST <laughs> right there. I mean, there was right. a three yard separation for Cobra at the top, but then yep. the next six drivers essentially are right next to each other in total distance. Yep. Within uh, five yards total distance are the top six. Yep, yeah. so, so not bad. Yep. Again, not, not the, bad at all. how close they are yep. you know, competitively, it's, it speaks to that. So. I, wanna, I wanna touch on just the way I was delivering the club. Yep. So I try my best to swing about the same here. You can see 6.2 to 7.8 on the attack angle. Yeah. Last one I hit was the ping at 7.8. So it was a little, yep. little bit higher there, but you can see average attack angle here. It was pretty, pretty close overall. Average club path numbers also pretty yeah, you're darn just close barely here. positive. I think with every yeah, club, zero so, point, yeah. zero point something. You know, face angle, face to path numbers. They're all very, very close together. So right. this is a good, good, pretty good test. Pretty good test here. So I think we can kind of start jumping to like, you know, overall conclusions to draw. And there's, I don't even know how many there are because, you know, you mentioned early on we talked about the, the smash factor and the ball speed. How, I guess. It, for what we consider the more popular brands, at least the ones in fittings that yep. are out there, those seem to be just a touch faster, perhaps, um, than the other ones. And uh, this is another tool we gotta probably use here briefly to just to just, just to see where all these drivers fit in, was, right? the optimizer on track, man. But it seems like the takeaway here was there's not a ton of difference between the brands. I think, um, and it, a lot of it too, we didn't even mention look and feel when you're in the fitting that might determine a lot of how the player differentiates, differentiates these models. Yeah, I think that's it. I mean, when, I, when we say that something's separated by five yards yeah. in, to, in total distance, um, I think that's gonna come down to it. It might come down to price point a little yeah. bit. So you, you've got to obviously discuss, you know, that Tour Edge, for example. Yep. We, we, know, we saw it last year, C721. Yep. Was, was probably one of the furthest drives that I had hit testing mm -hmm. inside. C722 was also pretty much up there for a little slightly lower yeah. price entry there too. Yeah. Um, Cobra is another great example. Cobra drivers are typically just a little bit less mm -hmm. than your other top drivers out yeah. there. And the fact that it performs and mm -hmm. went the furthest yep. is, uh, is, is pretty, pretty important to talk, talk and about too. One thing too, so we haven't talked much about ZX7 in this other than we mentioned the spin was a little bit higher, but yep. we should note that the spin for some players is needed. And you know, this, there are a lot of players that don't get enough spin. And uh, so and ZX7 is considered a, a low spin driver from Shrixon and it's lower spinning than the ZX5, but there might be players that swing fast enough in that low spin category, but they also need a little bit more than any of these models where that could be a right fit for them. Right. So it's not, this is the way Thomas hit the ball, right? But with another player testing these out, you might see the same trends develop, but it might be you know, the wrong window for that player. Right, exactly. I mean, 2400 spin versus 16, whatever it was, that's just quite a big difference yeah. at 800 RPM. So it's nice to know that, right. hey, if we, as a golfer that needs a little more spin right. on the driver, Strix on ZX7 is not a bad option. Mm -hmm. And I think the other piece to this too is adjustability. Yeah. So these were all in the exact same neutral setting, yep. same kind of loft, same golf shaft. You know, talk about Mizuno, for example, STG220, one of the most adjustable drivers out there. Yep. It may not have performed great on this particular setting, 
but it may perform great if we start right. tweaking all the adjustable options where we've got right. a set of gravity, I mean, hosel settings, loft on I mean, the driver, and that kind of stuff. There was a trend here. We have the map. I mean, and yet every ball was to the right of center. So, I mean, if you're hitting yourself for that, you move away to the heel and or you make an adjustable hosel right. tweak to move, make it upright, perhaps, and then you're suddenly hitting it straight or probably gaining a little bit of distance there. So, there's, again, this is just the beginning of what a driver fit even entails in, in general, because you got adjustable settings, you got the shaft then you would fit into somebody, so there's a lot more to it. But there are some trends, and it's a funny kind of abstract picture we paint with this <laughs> test, but it, uh, it does kind of show some minor differences. The clubs, are, it's still very competitive out there. These manufacturers put a ton into R&D to try and get that leg up. And you're seeing some of them do it, but I think it, the funny thing is, in a year or two from now, you might see this thing flip, and you might see a couple brands go to the top, a couple others sink down. It's just the way of the of the world, I guess, in that in that realm. So. Right, and I think you're gonna see here too. It depends on the tester. Yeah, that's the important thing. Just because I was swinging, the cold went the furthest for, for me. It doesn't mean it's gonna go further for mm -hmm. everyone else as well. So yeah. that's important to note. It's you know what we're seeing numbers. Yes, my swing's pretty darn consistent, but not everyone's gonna swing the exact same way right. as I'm swinging. It just happened that. We're not the way I'm swinging. That club performed really, really well today. Sure, sure. Well, uh, really good stuff here, Thomas. Eight drivers, the ultimate low spin driver test of 2022. Some really good data, some takeaways, but also I think the overall one, again, a lot, of a lot of competition out there. It's ultimately about which one fits your game and your swing. And the only way to find that out is to get it fit here at Second Swing with one of our master fitters. Schedule it online at secondswing.com. Thomas, thanks again for joining. Really good stuff here today. I think the viewers are going to like it. Yep. And golfers, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe.